Villamore was born on November 7, 1914 in Abra Province in the Philippines. At the age of 14, Jess, as his friends called him, was already an aviation bug and was taking lessons in a civilian flying school. He joined the Philippine Army Air Corps Flying School in 1936 and was sent to the United States for training. After three years, he began flying B-17s. In 1939, Villamore assisted in teaching Dwight D. Eisenhower how to fly. Upon his return to the Philippines, Villamore was assigned to command the 6th Pursuit Squadron at Nichols Airfield. Eight hours after the attack on Pearl Harbor, bombers and fighters of the Imperial Japanese Army and Navy attacked sites around Baguio and Iba Airfield and Zambales, with a second wave attacking Clark Air Base and Naval Station Sangley Point. The following day, the Far East Air Force's capabilities were crippled as half of its aircraft inventory was destroyed. The Japanese had quickly gained air superiority over northern Luzon. At 11.30 a.m. on December 10, the air raid siren sounded at Nichols Airfield. Captain Villamore and four other pilots of the 6th launched their Boeing P-26 pea shooters to meet another wave of Mitsubishi G-3M bombers and Mitsubishi A-6M Zero fighters. Despite their disadvantage, Villamore and his squadron was credited with four kills, one bomber and three Zeros, two of them by Villamore himself. Villamore was twice cited by the United States Army for bravery, receiving the Distinguished Service Cross for actions on December 10, 1941, and an oak leaf cluster in lieu of a second award for actions on December 12, 1941. Villamore is the only Filipino to receive the medal twice. On February 9, 1942, Captain Villamore conducted a reconnaissance mission over occupied Cavite in a PT-13 escorted by four American P-40 Warhawks when six Japanese Zeros engaged. Captain Villamore's aircraft was damaged but was still able to land it safely. One P-40 was lost at the cost of four Zeros. Captain Villamore's mission proved to be a success as the film was delivered and the information was collated with the ground observers and counter-battery fire was put into effect. With the Japanese closing in, the 6th Pursuit Squadron was ordered to destroy their aircraft inventory to prevent it falling into enemy hands. Villamore continued the war as an intelligence officer. On December 27, 1942, Villamore slipped through the Japanese Navy aboard the submarine USS Gungeon and established communications from the Philippines to Australia where General Douglas MacArthur's headquarters was based. He served as the clearinghouse of all the information including the activities of the guerrilla movements in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. President Ramon McSaisai awarded Lieutenant Colonel Villamore the Medal of Valor, the highest Philippine military bravery decoration, on January 21, 1954. Villamore died at the age of 56 in the United States on October 28, 1971.